Bendy pipe cleaners and boxes of cardboard. Straws, clothespins, brass brads, and things I can't afford. Parent donations of foil tape and strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Well, either I've lost my mind or we're talking about materials today. Let's get started. All right, we're talking about materials. We're gonna talk about what to get and where to get it. So let's start with a question, fill in the blank. The best materials are, if you said malleable, you've been watching the videos, but it's a trick. The best materials are free materials. So if you plan enough in advance, you can ask parents for donations and I will put in the description below a link to my parent letter and it is editable. Uh, another thing you can do is set up an Amazon wish list for your classroom and I will show you how to do that. So you're going to go to Amazon.com and you're going to sign in. If you don't have an account, you can start here. I'm going to show you my example first. I've already made one sample list. So you can see I've added some basics for STEM here. Just a quick note, the Crayola Modelo Magic is one of my favorites, but I never buy it for myself. That's a luxury first class one percenter kind of item. But if somebody wants to buy it for me, I'm very happy to have it. So let's just go ahead and say you've been doing your search on Amazon and you found something you want. If you look over here to the right, you can add to list. And any list that you already have will be there. And if this is a new list, well, then we just create a new list. This will be a wish list. We'll call this STEM sample. Set it to public and create your list. And let's continue shopping. We just want to add one more thing to it. So now when I go to add something that I find, when I click add to list, you'll see my STEM sample list is here. And I'll say continue shopping, but I just want to show you how to get to your list. So up here in the menu bar, you'll see you can drop down and go to your STEM sample list. And for each item, you can update your comments, your quantity, and your priority. So let's say I want two of these and I'm going to leave it as medium priority. And let's go ahead and update this one as highest. And let's say I want four of those. And I have a little comment there. And now you'll see, oh, now you can see I have a typo there, but I will fix that later. One thing to know is that if parents do buy from Amazon from your wish list, these quantities will update. And you can always go in and change them as well. If somebody just um, buys you one or you decide you don't need them anymore, you can change it. And you can even delete items off. So when you're ready to share with your parents, go ahead and just come right up here and you're going to click share. And you're going to get a link that you could put on your class website or put in your um, class newsletter. You can also send emails directly out to parents this way. The materials you need are obviously going to vary based on the challenge, but there are some basics that you want to have around. Pipe cleaners, foil, masking tape, these things did not make it into the song by chance. You want to make sure that you have those things on, on hand in bulk, you'll use them a lot. You're also going to become a clean trash hoarder. Um, I will show you a couple examples of some things that I've been hoarding lately. I've just started collecting these little fruit baskets. Every time I go to a hotel, I've been getting shower caps and water bottle lids. Uh, these are just a few of my clean trash hoards. So um, I don't know where it's gonna make it into a challenge yet, but the purpose will reveal itself, I'm certain. Something else you wanna think about is to throw in something weird just for kicks. So those shower caps, I might put them into a challenge. I think that it has no business having shower caps as a material, just to see what the kids do with it because it's often ingenious and surprising. I try not to limit what they can do based on what I can imagine. In the event you did not have time to plan ahead and solicit parent donations, or you did plan ahead and do that but the parents did not respond in kind, you'll need to get your own. So the stores I like to go to the most are dollar stores. For me, uh, Dollar Tree is my favorite. I get some things off Amazon and the other stuff usually comes from a Target, a hardware store like Home Depot, or even grocery stores. So where's the best place to get your materials? Depends on the material. I did a little bit of comparison shopping just recently, so let me show you what I found out.
So I did do a little comparison shopping between Dollar Tree and Amazon because those are the two places I get most of my items from. I did not include here anything with a teacher discount. I do believe Dollar Tree gives a, it's a small discount, but to current classroom teachers. So you might want to look into that if you are local. Now you'll see that a lot of times Dollar Tree wins the battle price-wise, but Amazon is often very close in price and sometimes the convenience or the quality just beats it out. So I will link in the description below my blog, which will bring you to the parent letter and the chart with comparison shopping. And I have some freebies and all that on there as well, so just check that out. But we started with the song. I'll end with the chorus. My apologies, I am no songstress. Copiers jammed, too much testing, things that make me mad. I simply remember my favorite things, then I don't feel so bad. See you next week. Be sure to subscribe. Next week we're going to start back to school challenges and I think you're going to really like them.